there's something going down. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's an assignment or if demons have been released to harm the people of God, but we've got to keep our eyes open and our ears peeled. We cannot let our guard down and do 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 go through life with our thumb in our mouth, scratching our behinds like we don't have a clue. Mm -mm. No, you got to walk through this part of your life like you're walking through a war zone. When you tell your child, don't go outside, don't go out the gate. Stay in the gate. There's too much traffic out there. Stay in the gate. And you know in your mind that at four in the afternoon, Mr. Aggleby walks his dog down the street and that dog is a vicious pit bull. And you know he's notorious for attacking people. So you keep your gate closed, you keep your child in the gate. But if your child takes it on themselves to go out the gate to go catch the ball while that neighbor is coming down the street with that vicious dog and the child gets horribly mauled and you're angry at God for your child getting hurt. It's not the Lord's fault. Sometimes when we act on impulse as adults and we do things impulsively without asking God, without acknowledging him in all our ways because that's where protection comes in. Thing, bad things can happen. And when bad things happen, we can't get angry at God. We can't. It doesn't mean that it was our fault, but it's not God's fault either. Sometimes it's an attack. It's an assignment of the enemy against you. So when you're constantly constantly acknowledging God in all your ways, he can tell you from day to day, from hour to hour. In these last days, y'all, we've got to do that way more than we used to because there are things jumping off that we don't know. Demons are being leashed into society like never before. There are a lot of different things with witchcraft and incantations and wizards and, and curses and hexes and spells and all that. That's why I tell you every day, pray. I command all evil to stay as far away from me as the east is from the west. In the name of Jesus. And ask God to keep you surrounded with a hedge of protection covered in the blood of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Keep you filled with the Holy Ghost because it's the Holy Ghost that changes our nature and makes us line up with God's desires and God's characteristics. Gives us the power to obey against our own reasoning at times, against our own desires at times. We have the power to obey when we're filled with the Holy Ghost. Those things protect us. Life happens and people get injured. Things happen. But they're far less injurious when we live a life of love and obedience. And I know adults hate to hear that word obedience. Like I'm not a child. Yeah, you are. God says unless you come into the kingdom as a child. No, it's not going to happen. So we have to be willing to bend, to yield to everything God wants. Because whatever he wants for you, whatever he wants for me, is for our good, y'all. It's not his will that any should perish. It's for our good. When I was walking down Mountain View that night, and I heard a voice holler at me and say, well, it didn't holler at first. 
It said, cross over to the other side. And there were a bunch of guys there I didn't know. I knew they weren't part of our neighborhood. I didn't know what they were doing. And I was like, yeah, but don't you see those guys? Cross over to the other side. I'm like, but Lord, cross over to the other side now. Okay, I'm going. Well, I had no idea that there was a big burly dog glaring at me, waiting to pounce on me once I crossed his turf. Dogs are very territorial. And I was getting ready to walk on the property line of his owner. But God helped me steer away. Had I not obeyed, I might not have been here today. That dog was glaring at me the whole time. I was glaring at him and binding the devil every step of the way. Binding that dog. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I was just saying it low, but I knew the demon in that dog could hear me. But I kept walking down that street and binding till I got to my house. And I'm telling you, if you don't have an ear to hear, you cannot be protected. Now, there are times God protects you. For, he protects all of us from danger seen and unseen. But for some reason, we need to really be careful in these next two or three months. There's something going down. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's an assignment or if demons have been released to harm the people of God. But we've got to keep our eyes open and our ears peeled. We cannot let our guard down and doop, do doop, do doop, do doop, go through life with our thumb in our mouth, scratching our behinds like we don't have a clue. Mm -mm. No, you got to walk through this part of your life like you're walking through a war zone. That's the reason obedience and love is so important. That's the reason you must get into the secret place of the most high God and abide under the shadow of the almighty. You don't visit the shadow of the almighty. You must live, dwell, abide under the shadow of the almighty. Get all up under his armpits, y'all, and we'll all be saved. Stay there. Don't run out after the ball. Stay there. You hear me? All right. God bless you. Be safe. Be well. Be blessed. In Jesus' name.